Hey guys, we're going to continue factoring quadratics today. Again, it's going to be the trinomials one, so you have to go into scrap paper world and do the AC method. So again, this is still our AC method for today. Let's make sure we got it. So let's review. So here, it says factor the following. First question you always have to ask yourself is, is there a GCF? Can I divide a number into both 4 and 8? The answer is yes. 4 divides into both. Who's smaller, x squared or x? Obviously x. And then who's smaller, y or y squared? Obviously the y. So there's your GCF. It's going to go in front of your parentheses, and now we're going to write what's left. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Subtract your exponents. So 2 minus 1 is 1 x to the first. Here, 1 minus 1 is 0, so your y's are gone, so no more y's. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so those x's are gone. 2 minus 1 is 1, or y to the first. And that is as far as you can go. There's no more squares. You can't factor anything else. Okay, let's look here. B. There is no GCF. There is no number that will divide into 49 and 100. However, do you notice this is a minus sign. This right here is a perfect square. Perfect square. This also is a perfect square. So remember the second factoring thing I taught you, if there wasn't a GCF, you got to make perfect squares. So you go to two parentheses and you ask yourself, what times what makes 49? 7 and 7. What times what makes x squared? x times x, because 1 plus 1 is 2. Then, what same number multiplies to give you 100? 10 and 10, but remember, one has to be positive and one has to be negative. And then to make y squared, a y and a y. So that's called DOPS. So, so far I've taught you GCF, I've taught you DOPS, I've taught you factoring by grouping, and then I've taught you the AC method. So today we're going to review AC method and factoring by grouping. So remember, steps for factoring a quadratic. You want to multiply A by C. Then you're going to list the factors that multiply to A times C. Circle the pair of factors that add to the middle term, your B term, and then split up the B term by replacing it with the correct factors from step three. And then you finish by factoring by grouping. All right, so how can you be positive that your answer is correct? You can always distribute. If you distribute it, you should get back exactly what the problem started with. Okay, so let's go through our checklist. Here we go. I see I do not have a GCF. This is not DOPS because it's not perfect squares. So here we have a trinomial, so it must be AC method. So here's A, here's B, here's C. So A times C, 7 times negative 1. So I need to multiply to negative 7, but I have to add to positive 6. So remember your job. You're multiplying to positive 7, negative 7, but you're adding to positive 6. The only way that you can multiply to a negative is if your signs are different. So look. A negative times a negative is a positive. A positive times a positive is a positive. However, a positive times a negative will give you a negative. Same if you reverse it. A negative times a positive will give you a negative. So since I want to get a negative, here are my two choices right here. Since I need to end up with a positive, I need my bigger number to be the positive. The only thing that multiplies to 7 is 1 times 7. So I want to end up with a positive. That means the bigger one's positive. 
So when I go to add this now, negative 1 plus 7 equals 6. So here we go. Rewriting. Negative 1m plus 7m. And then we're going to bring down 7m squared and negative 1. So I got my blue group and I got my purple group. Okay, the GCF for my blue group between 7 and 1, I believe 1 is the only thing that will fit in there. And then who's smaller, m squared or m? Obviously an m. So I'm going to take out a 1m. 7 divided by 1 is 7. Now go ahead and subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1, or m to the first. Negative 1 divided by 1 is negative 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so those m's cancel out. Now for the purple one. The only number that will divide into 7 and 1 is 1. And since the negative 1 does not have an m on it, you can't take an m out. So I can only divide by 1. And this is a positive, so it's going to be a plus 1. So 7m divided by 1 is 7m. Negative 1 divided by 1 is negative 1. Now check it out. Do you see how this one and this one match? So your first answer is 7m minus 1. And then your second answer will be your GCFs. 1m plus 1, or m plus 1. All right, let's check out number 2. A times C. So 3 times 10, I'll label them A, B, and C. 3 times 10 is 30. And my middle number is 17. So that means I have to multiply to 30, but add to 17. All right, all of these signs are positives. So since they're positives, I'm only going to use positives. 1 times 30... That equals 31. That does not work. Um, let's see. 2 times 15. Oh, hey, look. That equals 17 if I were to add these together. So here's what I want. So I'm going to rewrite this as positive 2K, positive 15K. Bring down plus 10. Bring down 3K squared. Now I got my two groups. One group. Two group. All right, the only term that goes into 3k squared and 2k, well, a 1, and then who's smaller, k squared or k? Obviously k. So I'm taking out a 1k or a k. 3 divided by 1 is 3. Subtract your exponents. 2 minus 1 is 1 or k to the first. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So no more k's. Now for the orange one, the only number that divides into 15 and 10, I believe is 5. And this is positive, so plus 5. 15k divided by 5 is 3k's. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And check it out. Do you see how these match? So 3k plus 2. And now for your GCFs, for your second answer, k plus 5. Or 1k plus 5. That's the exact same thing. All right, let's check out the back. These should be getting easier. Here goes. A times C. So A, B, and C. So I have to do 2 times negative 81. This is going to be a big number. It's negative 162. And I have to add to negative 9. So remember, I'm multiplying to negative 162, I'm adding to negative 9. So this one you definitely want to use your calculator for. You would go into your y equals and you would type in negative 162 divided by x and hit second graph. It will then give you your list of points. Remember, in order to multiply by a negative or to a negative, you have to use different signs. So you need a positive and a negative. All right, bigger number has to be negative because I need to end up with a negative. So 1 times negative 162, that does not add to negative 9. 2 times negative 81, 
does not add to negative 9. 3 times negative 54 does not add to negative 9. 6 times negative 27 does not add to negative 9. 9 times negative 18, oh, look at this one. If you add these together, it gives you negative 9. That's what you want. So there's your factors. So we're going to rewrite this as 9x, positive 9x, minus 18x. And then bring down the 2x squared and the negative 81. Now we're ready to factor by grouping. So I've got my green group and I've got my red group. So here we go. In the green group, I cannot divide a number into 2 and 9, so that would be a 1. But who's smaller, x squared or x? Definitely x. So let's take out a 1x. Divide. 2 divided by 1 is 2. Go ahead and subtract your exponents. So 2 minus 1 is 1, or x to the first. 9 divided by 1 is 9. 1 minus 1 is 0. Those cancel each other out. Now for the red one, do you see how this is negative? means the number that you divide by absolutely has to be negative. Um, biggest number that divides into 18 and 81 is definitely 9. Make it negative. All right, negative 18x divided by negative 9 is going to be positive 2x. Negative 81 divided by negative 9 is positive 9. Do you see how these two match? So 2x plus 9, and now let's write our second one. So it would be 1x minus 9. There you go. All right, let's look at number 4. Remember, a times c. So here's a, here's b, here's c. So 3 times 20 is going to be 60. So I have to multiply to 60, but... I have to add to negative 16. So I'm multiplying here, but I have to add to a negative. The minute you have to add to a negative, but multiply to a positive, you need to use all negatives. That's the only way it's going to work. So let's start writing our factors for 60. You can put it in your y equals if you want to and make it easier. So here goes. First one was negative one, whoops, negative one times negative 60. That does definitely does not equal negative 16. Negative two times negative 30. Also, that adds to negative 32. That does not work. Negative three times negative 20. That adds to negative 23. So that doesn't work. Whoops. Negative 4 times negative 15, that adds to negative 19, so that doesn't work. Negative 5 times negative 12, that adds to negative 17, so that doesn't work. Negative 6 times negative 10, oh, look at this one. If I add negative 6 and negative 10, I get negative 16. That's what I want. So these are the factors that I want. So let's rewrite this, negative 6n minus 10n's, and then we're going to drop down the 3n squared and the plus 20. So I have my blue group, and I have my pink group. So here goes with the blue. Biggest number you can divide into both 3 and 6 would be a 3, and then who's smaller, n squared or n? Obviously the n. So I'm taking out a 3n. Let's divide. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Go ahead and subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1, or n to the first. Negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. 1 minus 1 is 0, so those n's are gone. For the pink group, do you see how this is a negative? It means all of these have to be negative. Biggest number that goes into negative 10 and 20 would be 10. So let's see what's left. Negative 10 n's divided by negative 10 is 1 n. Oops, 1 n. And 20 divided by negative 10 is negative 2. Check it out. Do you see how these match? 
So n minus 2 and 3n minus 10 because those were your GCFs. All right, number five. A times C. So label them A, B, and C. So in scrap paper world, we have to do 3 times negative 49. What is that? Negative 147? Okay, so it's got to multiply to negative 147, but it has to add to 14. So we're multiplying to this, but adding to this. So in order to multiply to a negative, you need different signs. But in order to end up with a positive, it means the bigger one has to be positive. So I definitely would go in your calculator and do negative 147 divided by x, hit second graph. So I could do negative 1 times 147. That does not add to 14 at all. Um, negative 3 times 49 definitely does not add to 14. Negative 7 times 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That, that works. That's what we want. That adds. Because if you add these, you get negative. Oops, no, you get positive. That's what I want. Positive 14. So those are my factors. So we're going to change this to negative 7 Vs and positive 21 Vs. Okay, so 3 v squared minus 49. All right, let's group. Let's do my orange group and let's do my green group. So orange first. Between 3 and 7, I don't think you can get a number in there. So that would be a 1. And then who's smaller, v squared or v? Obviously the v. So 1 v is what I'm taking out. 3 divided by 1 is 3. Go ahead and subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1, or v to the first. Negative 7 divided by 1 is negative 7. 1 minus 1 is 0, so those cancel each other out. Okay, now for the green one. Biggest number that will divide into 21 and 49 is 7. So this is plus, so plus 7. 21 v's divided by 7 is 3 v's. Negative 49 divided by 7 is negative 7. So take a look. Do you see how these match? 3v minus 7. And do your GCFs. 1v plus 7. All right, let's do number 6. Again, A times C. So here's A, here's B, here's C. So 5 times 24. 5 times 24 is 120. Whoops. So I need to multiply to 120, but I'm going to need to add to negative 43. So you're multiplying to this and adding to this. The only way you're going to multiply to a positive but add to a negative is if both your signs are negatives. So here we go. In your calculator, I would do 120 divided by x, so you can hit second graph and get your list of points. Negative 1 times negative 120 definitely does not add to negative 43. Negative 2 times negative 60 definitely does not add to negative 43. Negative 3 times negative 40, that, that works. If you add these together, that gives you negative 43. That's what you want. So let's rewrite this as negative 3x and negative 40x. Bring down your 5x squared. Bring down your plus 24. So here's my green group and here's my pink group. Okay, GCF from your green group. I don't think you have a number that goes into 5 and 3, so that would just be 1. And then who's smaller, x squared or x? That would be x. So we're going to take out 1x. Let's write what we have left. 5 divided by 1 is 5. Go ahead and subtract your exponents. So 2 minus 1 is 1, or x to the first. Negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3. 1 minus 1 is 0, so those x's cancel out. Okay, now let's do the 
last one here. N biggest number that will divide into 40 and 24, but just remember it's absolutely going to have to be negative here. So I think that's going to be 8. So let's divide by negative 8. So negative 40x divided by negative 8 is positive 5x. 24 divided by negative 8 is negative 3. Do you see how this one and this one match? So 5x minus 3 is your first answer. And your second answer, here's your GCFs. So 1x minus 8. All right, last row. A times C. So I'll label them A, B, C. 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So I have to multiply to 12, but I have to add to negative 8. So I'm multiplying to 12, but adding to negative 8. The only way that you're going to multiply to a positive and add to a negative is if all your signs are negatives. So to make negative 12, negative 1 times negative 12 definitely does not add to negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 6. Um, that, if you add that, definitely adds to negative 8, which is what I want. So negative 2 and negative 6 are my choices. So let's rewrite this as negative 2n minus 6n. And then you're going to bring down 3n squared and plus 4. So let's do our orange group and let's do our purple group. Orange first. Between 3 and 2, I can't think of a number, so that stays a 1. And then who's smaller, n squared or n? Definitely n. So let's take out a 1n. 3 divided by 1 is 3. Subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1, or n to the first. Negative 2 divided by 1 is negative 2. 1 minus 1 is 0, so that means your n's cancel each other out. For the purple one, you see how it's negative? That absolutely means that you're going to have to divide by a negative. The biggest number that goes into 6 and 4 would be 2. So I'm going to take out a negative 2. Negative 6n divided by negative 2 is positive 3n. And 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Do you see how this and this match? So 3n minus 2 would be your first answer. Now check your second, your GCF. 1n minus 2, that would be your second answer. All right, last one. Hopefully you got this. A times C. So here's A, here's B, here's C. So I'm doing 5 times 12. 5 times 12 is 60. And I'm going to have to add to 19. So I'm multiplying to 60. I'm adding to 19. Do you see how there's only positives in here? So I don't have to worry about any negatives. So 1 times 60. That adds to 61, so I don't want that. 2 times 30, that adds to 32, don't want that. 3 times 20, that adds to 23, don't want that. 4 times 15, oh yes, I definitely want that. 4 plus 15 definitely equals 19. So that's what I want. Let's put n's on them. So positive 4n and positive 15n. I'm going to bring down my 5n squared. And I'm going to bring down the plus 12. So I got my purple group and I got my orange group. Biggest number I can divide into both 5 and 4 it would just be a 1. But then who's smaller, n squared or n? Definitely n. So I'm going to take 1n out. 5 divided by 1 is 5. Subtract your exponents. 2 minus 1 is 1, or n to the first. 4 divided by 1 is 4. 1 minus 1 is 0, so your n's cancel out. For the uh, orange, yellow, whatever color that is, the biggest number that divides into 15 and 12, I believe, is 3. It's a positive, so plus 3. 15n divided by 3 is 5n. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Take a look. Do you see how this and this match? So 5n plus 4 is your first answer. 
In your second answer, take your GCFs, so 1M plus 3. And here is your final answer. All right, now you should be able to do practice set um, 7.11 on page 35 in your packet.